Hello everyone, welcome to 3 Minutes Engineering Concepts. The idea of this website is to explain any engineering concept in 3 minutes and we will be able to explain any ad advanced or fundamental concept in mechanical engineering and material science. If you like the idea and if you like the videos then please like, share and subscribe to, to get the regular updates and also if others can benefit from it as well. Okay. Today's presentation is about fitness for service assessment. So if you're working in industry as an integrity assessment engineer and some equipment or a structure comes to you after inspection and you got some data and you try to see if it's fit for service or you need to do something about it, then you use different types of standards. So if you look at FFS assessment, it's a multidisciplinary approach and it determines whether an equipment which is suffering from flaws or damage or subjected to operating loads which are higher than the design loads is fit for continued service or not. So final outcome of any fitness for service assessment is a decision and that is to run as is, to repair, maybe to re-rate it, to use it at a lower loads, alter things or retire the equipment. FFS outcome may also include the estimating of the remaining life so you, you have to really you, are, you should be able to calculate how much life is remaining in your structure and this is useful for planning future inspections and future budgeting in case if you are going to remove or re replace our equipment or structure. One of the most commonly used FFS assessment technique or standard in, in the industry especially in the context of oil and gas, petrochemical and chemical plants is API 579-1 or ASME FFS1. It is basically has three different levels of assessments, level one assessment, level two assessment and level three assessment. As you move from level one assessment to the level three assessment, you move from more conservative to a more rigorous approach. This means the conservative level goes down while you are doing more rigorous investigation. If you are at level 1 assessment, you basically do a conservative screening. You minimum amount of inspection information is available to you. So you perform minimum inspections and maybe performed by an inspector or engineer. And if results are not acceptable, then you basically move towards level, levels 2 or 3. So in case of level 2 assessment, you have more detailed evaluations. You do more detailed calculations and should be done by an experienced engineer who has know-how of the industry theoretically and exper experimentally as well because sometimes you work with a on a, based on your engineering judgments and you should produce more precise results in these kind of assessments if results are not acceptable then you go towards level 3 assessment level 3 assessment is the most detailed as evaluation of your structure or as assets and you do a detailed inspection and information which you need to perform numerical analysis such as FEA and then you produce precise results and then you perform this should be performed by experienced engineering specialists who, who know about numerical techniques theory and also have experience in the area itself if you want to do FFS assessment for for various damage classes in as according to API 579-1 or SMF FFS1 then for different various damage classes for you basically can use any of the parts which are part of these design these standards if you look at api 579-1 it has almost 14 parts and for example if you want to assess against total fracture then you have to follow the procedure in part 3 and 9 if you are testing or verifying against corrosion and erosion then you have to work along part 4 5 6 and 7 crack like flaws should be part 9 Fire damage should be part 11, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10. If you want to do something about creep damage, then it's part 10. All mechanical damages, you need to really go through part 5, 8, 9, 12, and 13. If it's a fatigue damage and you want to compute fatigue, the remaining fatigue life of the structure, then it's part 13. So I just try to give you in these slides some an overview of the overall fit, uh, fitness for service assessments. And I try to introduce you to API 579-1 and ask me FFS1. If you have any more questions on these, please feel free to ask. And if you need more details, then obviously there are detailed courses available all around the world.
thank you very much for watching this please like subscribe and share this video for those who can benefit from it thank you very much